Hello everyone, Vincent Thiel from HGTV Test here. I'm here in Watford, the home of Maratha Vision, who is the official and exclusive distributor of Sony projectors in the UK. And what I'm going to do in this video is to give you an update about the new Sony 4K projector lineup that is going to be revealed at IFA 2018. There are three new models from Sony, the VW270ES, the VW570ES, and the VW870ES. Now, in this video, from time to time, I may refer to them as 270, 570, or 870 respectively, so just to be clear on that. Now, let's go through the specifications and the differences between these projectors and how it actually sits in the existing Sony 4K projector lineup. In terms of the 270, it is going to replace last year's VW260 or the Sony 260. And basically what Sony has done is to use the same chipset and the processor from the VW760 which was immensely successful to put it on the 270 and the 570 as well to bring them up to date in line with their current lineup. So what this means is that over the 260, the Sony 270 will gain two full bandwidth 18 gigabits per second HDMI ports with HDCP 2.2 copy protection compatibility and it will also gain 4K motion flow. Remember that on the 260 and also probably the 360 and the 550, motion flow is actually disabled when you feed the projectors a native 4K signal, but these are now unlocked for the 270 and the 570. All right, I forgot to mention that the 270 and the 570 are lamp-based, whereas the 870 uses a laser engine just like the 760. Right, so back to the 270, it will gain to full bandwidth, 18 gigabits per second HDMI ports. It will gain 4K motion flow, and also it will gain the input lag reduction feature that was found on the 760, but not on the 260. So if you are a gamer who is keen on playing your video games on the big screen, then you can benefit from the reduced input lag courtesy of this new feature that has been implemented on the 270. And there are some other improvements as well in terms of lumens output. So the lumens output is 1500 and there is meant to be an improvement in black gradation in terms of the shadow detailing just above black. But I didn't really have time to actually um, analyze that today, but hopefully we will be receiving review samples in the future where we can test these improvements. Right, so that's 270. It is going to retail at the same price as the 260 which is 5,000 euros and given the exchange rate of pound to euro because of Brexit then I think it's very likely that it will retail at 5,000 pounds and the availability is slated for October. Right, so that was the 270. Let's go one step up to the 570. And the Sony VW570 is going to take the place of both the VW360 and also the VW550 because Sony doesn't see any sense in actually offering so many 4K projectors. They are quite similar, so they're actually combining both projectors into one slot, which is the 570. And what the Sony 570 will offer over the 270 is, first of all, a dynamic iris system. So the 270 won't have a dynamic iris, but the 570 will have dynamic iris. Also, the 270 will only have a lumens output of 1,500, whereas the 570 will have a lumens output of 1,800. And I still need to stress that these two projectors are still lamp-based, the 270 and the 570, they are still lamp-based. Oh, another thing that I actually forgot about the difference between the 270 and 570 is that on the 270, even though it gained 4K motion flow for high frame rate, there is no impulse mode or combination mode, which means that there is no backlight scanning or black frame insertion available on the 270. Whereas if you are into watching sports without any interpolation artifacts, you can actually enable the motion flow impulse or motion flow combination which has a black frame insertion on a 570. So those are the three key differences between the 270 and the 570, namely lumens output, 
dynamic iris and also 4K motion flow. There may be other things as well, but those are the three that sticks out to me. And for the 570, the price will be 8,000 euros. Again, this is actually slightly cheaper than the VW 550 from a couple of years ago. I think that's set around 10,000 pounds. So the 570 will retail at 8,000 euros, which in my mind, it just says 8,000 pounds as well. So I've covered the two lamp-based projectors, let's move on to the most interesting one, which is the VW 870. And this uses the same laser light engine as the VW 760, which has been extremely successful and it gives one of the best HDR pictures that I've ever seen on a home cinema projector. And it uses the same light engine, it uses the same chipset and the same processor, but what Sony has done to upgrade the 870 over the 760 is in terms of the first of all the lens so remember i think you know when we had a look at the 760 i think i mentioned something to the fact that the lens is good but there have been some complaints that you know the lens is not as pin sharp as the top end projectors from Sony, let's say the VW 1100 or the VW 5000. So what Sony has done is to listen to feedback from you guys and put the lens that was originally found on the VW 1100 and also the VW 5000, the ARCF lens, this stands for all round crease focus. So it is an 18 element all glass lens system, some of it floating, some of it fixed, that actually produces a supremely crisp and sharp image. And if you are into cameras, if you are into projectors, you will know how important the sharpness of the lens is to the final image. You know, it's all in the glass. And I can say for sure that with the 870, Sony has listened to feedback and put in the same ARCF lens that was found on the VW 1100 and also the VW 5000 on the VW 870. So that is upgrade number one. And another upgrade is in terms of the iris. On the VW 760, there was only a dynamic laser dimming system, but on the 870, they have added an advanced iris as well, so there's a mechanical iris. Again, I didn't actually have time today to actually experiment with it in terms of the light pumping, in terms of how deep the blacks can go, but again, I'm sure once the proper reviews come in, then all these will be revealed to the likes of yourself. Now, with regards to the 760, I understand that Sony is going to keep the 760 in the lineup as well. So it is going to be still available sitting just below the 870. And when it comes to the lumens output, there I think have been a very slight upgrade as well. So the 870 will have 2,200 lumens, whereas the 760 will deliver 2000 lumens as spec by Sony. So slightly higher lumens output, a significantly superior lens and also advanced iris system are the key upgrades of the 870 over the 760 and what price will you pay for that? So Sony has priced the VW 870 at 25,000 euros which is probably going to be around 25,000 pounds as well. And I think uh, it sits nicely in the Sony projector lineup. I know some of you will probably be happy with a VW 760, but if you wish for a superior lens and if you wish for an advanced iris to actually clamp down the light output during dark scenes for even deeper blacks, then yes, the VW 870 is now available for you to buy for a price of 25,000 pounds and the availability is slated for the middle of November. One last thing that I forgot to mention about the 870 is that in addition to this new lens, this ARCF lens, which is pin sharp by the way when I actually looked at some images on the screen, 
Sony has actually implemented a new feature called Digital Focus Optimizer. Sony understands lens, right? They understand that the center of the lens is always going to be sharper than the peripherals because of how just basically lens are actually shaped and designed. So what they have done is to use software is to analyze the histogram of multiple databases of the lens that they actually use to digitally sharpen the edges of the picture to make it sharper and bring their crispness in line with the center of the screen and this feature is only available on the VW870 at this moment in time. Now when I demoed it at Maratha, there is a difference on certain scenes but you probably have to go up fairly close to the screen to actually see the difference and you know from a normal viewing distance I think you know I would be hard pressed to tell the difference but again I think this is actually not a damning statement at all because I think this is a testament to how good the lens is on the 870 natively by itself without any software correction so to my eyes you know it already looked really pin sharp but if you wish to actually sharpen up the edges there is this digital focus optimizer function underneath the reality creation submenu on the Sony VW870 now let's talk about some measurements that I managed to take in the short couple of hours I was at this facility with a pre-production unit of the Sony VW870 as always, you know, without actually starting to look at any picture, I always try to calibrate the display first. And you can see that initially it had a blue tint, but after two point correction, the grayscale is neutral. And once the gamma correction is done, then it tracks 2.4 gamma very flat. And you can see from the color checker chart that all the 140 measured color patches did not exhibit any errors that exceeded the humanly perceptible threshold of Delta Error 3. So what this means is that for SDR content at least, you can expect really realistic and natural and accurate true looking colors regardless of whatever content you watch from this projector. And I went on to measure the HDR side of things in terms of the color gamut and according to my software I managed to get 87% of DCI-P3 coverage. Remember this is only a pre-production model that I've actually had a hands-on with. Also it's important to stress that Sony has managed to achieve this sort of DCI-P3 coverage without using a filter. It uses their own triluminous engine and it doesn't use a color filter unlike the JVC Z1 which actually have to move a filter in place to achieve a wider color gamut. So DCI-P3 gamut coverage was around 87% according to my measurements on this pre-production unit and I also just had time to measure the input lag using the input lag reduction feature and for 1080p input signal, the input lag runs at around 37 milliseconds. But if you feed a native 4K signal, then according to our Leo Bona tester, the input lag dropped slightly to 31 milliseconds. So there you have it. I think, you know, with this update of the lineup, Sony is once again offering the most comprehensive array of 4K projectors on the market. Remember, these are all native 4K projectors and there are different price points to appeal to people with different budget as well. But for me, I think the standout is certainly the 870 with the extremely crisp lens that has additional advanced iris system put in to maybe achieve even better contrast performance. This is Vincent Thiel here reporting from Maratha in Watford. If you found this video useful, please click the like button and subscribe to the HGTV Test YouTube channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.